six reasons why I hate Namsan. There are a lot of spoilers in this video, so if you haven't finished the series, I really recommend you guys finishing that before watching this video. I know I'm about to make an extremely controversial video, but I just want to disclaim that I loved Startup. I watched every single episode. Hope we can agree to disagree that there are two sides to every story. There was a team Jacob and team Edward during Twilight, there is Team Good Boy versus Team Nam Do -san, and I am on Team Han Ji Pyeong, but this is just how I feel, and I feel very passionately about this. So we will be talking about the six reasons why I absolutely hate and despise Nam Do -san. Let's start with number one. The entitlement. We are introduced to him as a child who once and wins the math decathlon, but he ends up being a cheater. It's something that he does to himself, and then he decides to keep to himself for around like 20 years. And then he kind of gets a lot of pressure from his parents for winning. You have parents who care about you and want you to do well. Like, I'm so sad for you. Like, I feel so bad for you. I don't understand how I'm supposed to feel bad for him. Um, you have two loving parents, two loving parents. You have two best friends that you've known since you were like really young. Um, you worked at Silicon Valley. You have millions of dollars now by selling your company. You won this, not only the math competition by cheating, but the startup competition. You have success. And now you also want the girl and the grandma. I, I feel like he also feels like he needs everything handed to him. Like, oh, I can like clickety clackety beep boop beep bop on my computer and I get everything. Han Ji Pyeong deserves nothing because he's already rich. Like, he was an orphan. He literally had no one and he had to build himself from nothing. And you think like just because he is like older than you and already successful, like he doesn't deserve anything. Like, no, <laughs> you don't deserve anything. Number two, the lack of empathy and critical thinking skills. Can you have a little bit of depth? Like, do you really think like Susie broke up with you? Even though she clearly says, can you just go to San Francisco? And he was like, no, like we'll stay together forever. We'll be happy, like blah, blah, blah. She literally has to say, please leave. I, you're not the real Nam Do San or something like that. So he can, she can get him to go and make millions of dollars and not all, make all of their hard work for nothing. Like she was like, you know, us five work really hard. Your friends worked for three years with no pay um, to for us to finally get this far. We fucked up, we signed a shitty contract. You guys can now go um, and I'll be here and I'll be fine. And then he's like, no, like I love you, like blah, blah, blah. And then so she finally has to just be like, let's break up, you know? And then he comes back all pissed off. For what? He also doesn't have a lot of empathy for the older generation who doesn't understand tech. Like we all have had our own annoyances at our parents who like don't understand how to do certain tech things but he takes it to the next level he doesn't even bother to like try to explain what his company does like he only explains it nicely to Sadarmi's grandma because he like wants to look good in front of her and she wants he wants to look good in front of Sadarmi like why can't you just explain it to your parents too like very calmly and nicely but number three he's violent um he had all the resources he needed to correctly look through the contract in order for them to not get fucked over by Tusto, but he didn't. He didn't consult his mentor. He didn't consult any anyone else. He just thought that him and Sadarmi were making the right decision, but he himself made a reckless decision to sign and then he decides to project all of that anger, all that frustration by punching Han Ji Pyeong. Haven't we evolved, haven't men, haven't humans evolved past the need to like project your internal frustrations onto another person physically? I, I just don't understand. Like he would be nothing without Han Tim Jung. He wouldn't have gone this far in terms of the competition, in terms of meeting Sodarmi, in terms of his career. And he's not even polite to him. Like even the guy whose brother killed himself because of feedback from Han Ji Pyeong, 
apologize to him later. Namdo-san is just rude and like because of his own insecurities, his own frustration. But like the worst part of it, it's like he has to do it physically. Like he has to punch him in the face. Come on, like just be an adult. <laughs> Number four, childlike behavior. He is like almost 30 years old. He has zero sense of social skills. And if it was something to do with like Asperger's or autism or some mental thing that he had since he was young, like, okay, I could give him a little bit of grace, but like, dude, you're 30 years old, grow up. It's not that much of an excuse for you to be like, oh, I'm a beepo bleep bloop computer science engineer. So I have no social skills. Like that is not an excuse. If, if he showed empathy to other people different from him, like maybe I would show empathy to him. But whenever someone talks about astrology or religion or um, something that's not like based on science, he is so quick to, I don't know, just like be like that stupid. So I'm gonna think he's stupid. Also, he's like not capable of being a CEO and it takes him forever to realize that if you have zero social skills, you cannot be a leader. Number four, unrealistic expectations. I think that Todarmi and Namdo-san deserve each other because they are both dumb and they can be dumb together. Like, have they never heard of something called long distance before? Like when someone lives in a different city than you and you can be in a relationship? Also, the market for self-driving cars is very oversaturated. Like you don't think Hyundai or Kia or Toyota or Tesla or even Tusto Namdo-san literally went to build self-driving cars at Tusto. Like, I don't understand like why they're working so hard on Tarzan. Uh, he already did it in uh, SF. I don't know what market share they're trying to like go for. Like the odds of two couples being in a founding company are zero and both of them don't really have good communication skills, cannot correctly like express themselves. Um, and I feel like that's gonna show up later down the line in their relationship <coughs> number six ungrateful han Tujang just like helps namdo-san over and over and over again and namdo-san can't see that and it's honestly at this point just like straight up embarrassing for him because even at the end he has to be like you're an idiot she loves you like go after her right now because you're just dumb i was just gonna like let you be dumb but like i'm just gonna tell you the truth so me literally walks for 18 hours or whatever the heck to like get to his uncle's cabin to talk to him and he screams at her and tells her to go away and like is extremely rude like, why do we have to spell it out for him there's zero redemption arc for this character like i don't understand how you could like him like if there was a peloton ride called kill namdo-san you're riding through the korean countryside to eventually get to his uncle's cabin and kill him like i would ride like 17 miles like easily i hate him so much like more than any other main lead in my entire life like usually i feel bad for the secondary lead but i don't despise the main lead like i feel like the writer gave too much character development to han ji pyong and I actually feel absolutely nothing for the main couple anymore. I'm not happy for them. That ending sequence of them becoming like this huge company and like CEOs together, like gave me nothing. Like I actually felt nothing watching that. I was like, good for them. Like, I don't care. So all in all, I love Harmony and I love Han Ji Pyeong, team good boy all the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize to all the tech bros, software engineers and Namdo San fans out there. But I will die on this anti Namdasan hill. We will not tolerate any Hanji Pyeong slander in this house. So please be kind in the comments and I hope you were entertained. I will see you guys in the next video. Cue the soundtrack. <laughs> Decathlon. <laughs>